What's going on guys? Day two of the Dallas adventure. Getting ready to go downstairs, grab some breakfast before we go. Uh, somewhat dressed up. I don't know if you'd call this business casual or, you know, white trash fancy. I don't know what you would call it. I'm more on the white trash fancy side. So let's go downstairs. Let's go see what everyone's doing. Let's go get some breakfast and get this day started, guys. You just gotta take a look around, make sure you got everything. I just made this coffee, I don't really want it. This is kind of out of place. Now it's back where it goes. That's roll cage, or you can have this thing just flush because it has cameras. Oh, thanks, man. I appreciate yeah. it. Yeah. So there's three. Let's go ahead and grab this. Thanks for making that for me. You can have it. <laughs> it's like it's a free. Not pulling it. Yeah. Yeah. Breakfast completely done, guys. Eating breakfast with these two goobers. Blake from BNB, Stan the Dirt Monkey Genetic. And if you don't know, then you're probably mad pathetic. I'm sure you guys remember the song I did. Breakfast, back there, man. Oh, just eating it. What's going on, buddy? Nice talking with you, Wade. <laughs> <laughs> if you guys are ready, I'm ready. Blake, are you ready? I'm not ready, bro. Stan's not ready not either. Ready. Stan needs another power nap. He's exhausted. Hi, you with Makita? No. You need me? I see there. Yeah. <laughs> well, the Makita. You look like a Milwaukee fan to me. Yeah, yeah. Are you guys with Makita? Yeah. Um, yeah, we're going there. What are the guys that? What are the guys said that the car was ready? We're not supposed to get on until eight fifteen though. Oh, yeah, I'm going early too, just because I was worried about traffic. I'm yeah. Not supposed to no. She, she wasn't ready. I'm not editing any of this. I'm just gonna stay in here. I like my videos to be boring <laughs> and awkward. I like. <laughs> he likes his videos long, long, boring, boring and awkward. It's kind of like getting your teeth drilled. <laughs> so if you guys know why I'm having trouble growing my channel, just let me know. I can't figure it out. <laughs> I can't figure it out. I mean. Too <laughs> wish. I wish I was too wish. You wish you were How you guys doing? Hey, we're all right. You guys look like you're dressed to play the part. We you are. So? We're, we're, we are actors. Oh. <laughs> but we'll all fit in then. We'll fit in great. How you doing? Awesome. Andy. Hey, how are you? How's it going? So what are you guys thinking? Are you guys excited? I'm always excited. Are you stoked? Would yes. you use that word where you're from? Are you stoked? stoked every now and then? No, I think that's when you're high. I was gonna say, it means a little bit different. <laughs> yeah, so he's definitely different. stoked, for sure. Yeah, good, good, good. How are you guys uh, How's sleep? How's it going? Oh, good. What's going on, buddy? What's up, man? How you doing? Good, good. Nice to see you guys. Slept well, man. Are you stoked? <laughs> always, always. He's stoked. He's stoked. And that's yep. dope. That's and that dope. also means something else. Yes, <laughs> yes. I don't know what all these drug references are, yeah. I, I don't know, man. I hope we don't take drugs. No, you know. Check the backpack. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> or if you guys like. The wild You probably already snapped that wheelbarrow, didn't you? That's what you're doing in there. <laughs> Guys, I got it. First one, wheelbarrow in, man. Thank you. So basically, um, actually I should have done this first. Let me, so your number, we're gonna be giving out tools every half hour. Your number that you wanna hear is that top one right here. Okay. okay. And then you're gonna go through our booths and do all our demo stations. And then once you get a full punch, you're gonna come back and see me for your battery and your swag bag. Okay. All right. Taking all the life it hit 
was looking at, I don't know what she was doing. I was looking for her. Uh, <laughs> I was looking for her. I was hanging out with her last night. He's one night. of our TV personalities that reviews oh, all nice. these. Andy, nice to meet you. Yes, we, we briefly met earlier. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you were in the lobby. That's right. She had the curls. She had the curls uh, going. I had my hair pinned. So oh, yeah. I like, my coffee, they go, oh, are you with Makita? I'm like, no, what makes you say that? <laughs> just dress I like this. I had my Makita stuff on. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. Awesome. Huh. Wow, it even has a caliper for a disc brake. Yep. Is that hydraulic? Uh, this one, no. Alright, let me see, let me see this brisket and ribs. I'm a fellow smoker, I know you don't want to hold that open too long. I don't know if short. Oh my god. You got some brisket on this side. Delicious. Yeah, all you guys that watch my stuff and follow my vlogs, you know how I am about barbecue. I'm a big pulled pork guy, but oh my gosh, you know, tear some brisket. Those ribs look good. They look phenomenal, dude. Wow. I'm excited. I know, my mouth is watering. I don't want to leave this spot now. I just want He's like, excited. Man, I'm excited. If you guys that don't know the follow my channel, man, this is Tools in Action. What's up, you he's guys? Got, he's got his partner, too. Yep. And it's actually his partner Business in real. Partner. No, 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 you guys are. <laughs> well, we're trying to hook What state up. are you in? Illinois. That might be like one of those legally married after so long type of deals. Really? Because we were thinking about moving to uh, Missouri. To oh, then you're, you're in. You're yeah. a shoe in. All right, sweet. All right, guys, just had to make a quick brief stop. Put some new batteries in the camera. Uh, switch out my memory card. Some stuff before it got a little too late. But we're back over here at the outdoor power equipment. Because that's something I'm definitely trying to show you guys that Makita has to offer a lot more than you think they do. Okay. It's a new 61cc. It's a very clean two-stroke. Okay, much cleaner burning than a, it's a stratified type engine. Now I notice a lot of companies are going to either like a four-stroke or four-stroke mix. Do you guys make a four-stroke mix chainsaw? Not on chainsaws. Uh, there's issues with you need the RPMs. For right. Chainsaws, so you go two-stroke oh, okay. chainsaws. Uh, but again, a stratified versus a standard two-stroke stratified is just going to be a lot cleaner. Mm -hmm. So it's going to meet emissions a lot easier. You don't even have to use a catalyst on the muffler to okay. meet emissions. So um, real, real nice features here. Heavy duty filter, filter is standard. Good it's all filter. standard with that one. Uh, 61 cc Pro Sol, Pro Sol magnesium. So this is a this is what Makita considers to be the Pro level saw. Are these is this one the same? That then? would be the entry level to our farm saw, and then okay. that's a, that's a Pro saw there, there as well. Okay. So one, so the nice thing about this this as far as the Pro line goes, once we get up into the 70 cc, we no longer have the easy. Start. Care if I just see how heavy that is real quick? Yeah, sure. Sure. That's about 12 pounds. It's not bad at all. Yeah. So um. The only nice thing about these is the starting. Easy start system? Yep. Well, I mean, once you get to the market, honestly, I don't think anything starts like these. Um, I'm going to give it a really slow pull and almost try not to start it, and we'll just see, see how that goes there. Yeah. <laughs> 
So that's actually pretty cool. This robot sweeper actually has a sensor built in to keep it from going off stuff such as like stairs, things like that. So it's actually really cool. Cool. It's like a Roomba, but big. See, he, he said that out loud, but inside he goes, where's the barbecue? I'm ready to eat. So, I don't know. Another really cool thing, even though I'm not supposed to, is we got Rockstar at every corner, guys. Go with the grape. Alright, so I got Blake out here. He's firing up the mister for you guys that run Kenner. It's quiet. It is really quiet. That's the good thing about a four-stroke. Any of the platforms are a lot quieter. Dude, I'll tell you, you're gonna get big if you're carrying this engine. It's gonna be heavy, no matter what. What's, I don't know what size. Your gas tank, your engine, and you've got water. Yeah, I don't know what size of the tank is. But if you're looking to fog a yard for anything, Had to do the whole parking lot before it dried, so I got a long ways we to go. We got wetting it down before. different out and this is the kind of stuff I want to show you guys uh, I feel a lot in our industry everyone thinks it's just still and echo and that's all you're gonna find but here's a four stroke from the Makita lineup uh, something I'm already kind of just off with I'm used to having a trigger no matter what it is easy to get used to because you already have an automatic cruise control so if I just want to set it on medium kind of walk I'm good that way. But we threw a little grass right here and I'm gonna see if it has the power because you guys know I run a BR700, one of the biggest backpack blowers in Stills lineup. So we'll kind of see. Obviously compared to two stroke a four stroke motor doesn't sound like it's doing as much you don't get the real high revs high power as you do at a two stroke but it's definitely still got the power do I think it still has as much power as a BR 700 not quite but for what we do every day it's so the events getting ready to wind down guys you can take it is it gonna fit is it gonna fit on the plane so yeah guys, the event's winding down. It was great meeting Clay out here. He was telling us a lot of stuff, just having fun, man, having a blast. Everyone's getting ready to leave. The shuttle's coming to pick us up, plane ride back. So yeah, man, well, one of the best events I've been to so far, it was great. Clay said load up his truck with anything we want, he'll drive it to Kansas City for us. Yeah, Clay said he's just load oh, everything up. An all nighter. Just, just tell me, I'm going. And he's got the jacket on, you guys saw oh, the jacket yes. earlier. It is mighty cool in this weather. So you know, you know he's feeling okay right now. Yes. So yeah, guys, still gotta get to the airport, stuff like that, so. Yeah, we'll see you in a little bit. So we finally showed up to the airport, guys. It's time to head home. The lighting's horrible. Stan thinks so, Blake thinks so. We've had a blast. So yeah, man, it's time to put the camera away. I'll see you guys back when I get home. It's time to hit the flight and head home.